Hey guys, this is Adam Klein, the winner of Survivor, Millennials vs. Generation X, and a contestant on Season 40 of Survivor, Winners at War. I have a casting coaching business, and so I've helped a lot of people with their audition videos for reality television that are trying to make their dream come true, just like I did. But there is not enough time in the day to look at every single video out there and to help all of you with all of your audition tapes. So I wanted to make this video today to help you as you're reviewing your audition video and trying to decide, does this make a good audition video for the show that I'm applying for? And so I wanna give you a really good gut check that you can use in terms of watching each piece of your video and deciding, does this make the cut? Is this something that could get me on the show? And that gut check is, could I imagine what I'm saying in my audition video right here, right now, as a confessional on the show? If I were watching the first 10 minutes of my favorite show, could I see myself saying what I'm saying in my audition video on the show? And the way that you're gonna figure out if it does that is by running through a bit of a checklist in terms of what makes a good confessional. First of all, it has to be concise. Is the editor going to be able to cut and paste what you're saying into the show? If you ramble a lot or you have run on sentences or you, if you kind of talk like this, and but you, you sort of change subjects and you kind of, you never like finish, you don't punctuate what you're saying. You see the difference between the way that I'm talking right now with a clear beginning, middle and end versus the way that I sort of like kind of meander around and there's no clear, like if you're trying to figure out where to cut, there wouldn't be a way to cut there. So you have to be, first of all, concise, clear and concise. Secondly, are you speaking with passion and conviction? Do you have good energy? I don't want people in their videos to go over the top, to be fake, to be like, what's up guys? Hey, it's me, Adam. Cause like that's not, nobody talks like that. But this is one of the ways that I talk. Not all the time. Sometimes if I'm sitting on the, if I'm sitting on the couch, I might like, you know, I, I'm, I may be talking a little bit more like this with a, so I want you to speak as you do when you're at your best. When you're the life of the party and all of the attention is on you, what does that look like? That's the kind of passion and energy, just like I'm giving right now, that you should have throughout your audition video that would make it ultimately a good confessional on the show. The next thing is, is it filled with your personality? Does it show off what it is that makes you you. If you're funny, then is it funny? Is it insightful? Maybe you're a really smart person that thinks about things in a different, unique way. And does your story show those particular aspects of who you are that make you unique? If it's very generic, then anybody could say it and they're not gonna give that confessional to you. It should be a confessional that only you should be able to say. And on that note, and this one is really, really overlooked by most people, are you inserting your perspective, your philosophy, your opinions, your point of view into what you're saying in your audition video? Ultimately, this I think is the most important piece of what makes a good confessional. I could say on the show, you know, um, Natalie decided to go to the water well and then Denise went and followed her uh, and then Rob grouped everybody up to talk about who we should vote off at tribal council tonight. And yeah, all of that, it's a, it's a full sentence, beginning, middle, and end, concise. You could put that in there, but it's just descriptive. It's just saying what happened. It's, there's, no, there's no perspective inserted into it. Now, if I say, oh my God, it's 30 minutes before tribal council and we still haven't decided who we're voting out. And Natalie goes off on her own to the water well. By the way, I'm making this up. This is nothing to do with Natalie or anybody, but Natalie goes off to the water well on her own. Are you, are you out of your mind? Why would you leave the group right now? And then Denise decides to go and isolate herself with her. Are you crazy? We have to decide who's going home. Of course, Rob's gonna group everybody together and he's gotta be the guy in control. He's gotta decide who's gonna go home. But as long as he's putting a name out there that's not me, I'll feed his ego. I'll let him think he's in control, sure. Do you see the difference between just 
describing what is happening and then inserting perspectives, thoughts, opinions into everything that you're saying. If Natalie ends up going home that night, there's a confessional about how she went to the water well alone, and that's not smart. You shouldn't do that. Or maybe we're setting up Rob to go home in the next episode. So the editors want to put in there how he everyone thinks he's trying to be in control. So there's I'm giving little tidbits because I'm inserting my opinions into everything that the editors can use to tell whatever story it is that they're trying to tell, depending on what's going to happen at Tribal Council that night. So there's the more perspective, the more opinions that you put into everything that you're saying, the more you give the editors, the producers, a lot to work with. The same thing is true in your audition video. If you're talking about your work and, and you have an opinion about how stupid the, your colleagues are or how annoying your clients are, whatever it might be, say that. That is your perspective and that shows that you have opinions. The type of people, not everyone's perfect for reality television. Some people don't have a lot of opinions. Everyone knows somebody that's like, well, what do you want? What, what do you think about this? Well, I don't know. I don't really, some people just don't really have a lot to say about stuff. The people that are going to get on the show that you're applying for are the people that have a lot to say about everything. They've always got an opinion. So you need to show that you have yours and insert it into every little thing that you do in your audition video. And then finally, the last thing that I want to talk about in terms of does this, will this make a good confessional on the show and thus is it good for my audition video is does it matter? Does it have stakes? Does it, does it make a difference in your life? Is it a motivating factor for why you get out of bed in the morning? If you're just talking about, oh, I went to the donut store and I got three donuts, it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't make a difference. But if it's about how you grew into the person that you are today or where you still need to gr go in terms of your growth, maybe you'll have that opportunity on the show that you're applying for to have that growth to overcome that obstacle that's in front of you, or maybe you already have, does it matter? Does it have stakes? Is it an important story that could motivate other people or that could help them through a difficult time in their life? Because ultimately, that's what the producers on the show are going to be trying to get out of you when you're on the show, is stories that are going to be relatable to people, that are going to make them think about their own lives and what matters in their own lives. So... To wrap it all up, when you watch your audition video and you're going through it, if you're watching a clip that doesn't have your personality, that isn't concise, that doesn't have your perspective, that doesn't matter, that isn't funny or insightful, you have to ask yourself, why is this here? If it's just descriptive, I was on the tennis team and I was the captain of my tennis team and then uh, I moved to Ohio when I was 14 and then I moved to Florida when I was 20. If it, it has none of that. If it's just describing something, then it's that confessional that I gave about Natalie going to the water well, Denise following, and Rob grouping up. It doesn't, it doesn't, anyone could say it. It doesn't matter. So when you're doing your audition video, and you're looking back, after you've done your audition video and you're looking back, ask yourself, could I see this as a confessional on the show? If the answer is no, you might need to refilm. And if you want some help with your audition video, check out my website, adamkline.com slash casting. I offer personalized and individualized casting coaching because everybody's story is unique. And what I can help you do is reveal your own individual personality and perspective in your audition tape. Help you become a better storyteller so that whether or not you ever get on the show that you're applying for, because not everybody's going to, in fact, nearly everybody is not going to get on, the skills that you develop by becoming a better storyteller, by learning to insert your, your personality and your perspective into everything that you do. It will make you a more effective communicator to bring people in, to have people listen to you in work, in your social life, and certainly to try to get on your dream show. Good luck. 
Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching the entire video. If you liked it or if you found it helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if there's something else that you'd like to know, I will consider doing more of these videos based on the response. So leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and ask any questions that you might have about reality television casting. Thanks so much.